In this video, we will know about nodes and elements and we will know how to create nodes in HyperMesh. In meshing, the geometry is broken up into small pieces and those small pieces are called elements. The corner of each element is a node. So we can define a node as coordinate location in space where the degree of freedoms are defined. For example, in 2D meshing, we have elements like triad element and quad element. The corner point of these elements is defined as nodes. Like in case of triangle, we have three nodes. In quadrilateral, we have four nodes. We can also create eight node quad, then six node triad like this in example. For the nine node, it is called Lagrange element. So in this way, we can define nodes and elements. Now we will create nodes in the software. So we go to the hypermesh, we go to the option of geometry, we can see the option that is nodes. Below this we have node edit. To calculate the distance between nodes is the distance. So I will start with this nodes. So before this we will import a geometry. So I go to open. Suppose I open this part that is AHM. So open this part and then I will select nodes. In this nodes, the first option we have is nodes defined by the coordinates. So we can define the x, y, z coordinates. Suppose I insert this value 0, 0 and 0, which is the origin. So I click create. So a node has been created on this origin. Similarly, we can define some different values. Suppose I take this value 100, then 100 and then 50 and click create. So in this way we can create the nodes with respect to the coordinate system. I click reject. When I select the reject option, all the things we have done will be rejected. The next option we have is on geometry. In this on geometry we have point, line, surface and plane. Suppose I select this lines option and I select this line. And now we have to select the location where we want to specify the node. Suppose I click here, so node is specified. Select this location and another node is specified. I click reject. The next option we have is arc center. So we have created an arc. Go to this arc. Select arc center option. And we have to select the nodes. Select this first node, second node and this third node. And select create. So a node will be created at the center of this arc. Reject. Next option is extract on line. So in this extract we have extract parametric and then extract on line. I select extract parametric. In this we have option of upper bound and lower bound. So in the reference we can select line and surface. I select this line. And then suppose I select this line number of nodes I want 5 and the parametric is the arc length so I click create so 5 nodes are created at equal distances ok so I select reject and then we have option of extract on line click here we have to select the line we can select line surface so right now I am selecting line number of nodes I want 5 and now we have to select the bias so bias is the distance between the nodes. So we can define this distance as a linear distance then exponential or the bell curve. So I want the bias intensity by unit 1. So the distance will, between the nodes will increase by unit 1. And select create. So now we can see with each node the distance is increasing by 1 unit. Select this reject. Next we have is the interpolate nodes. Select this interpolate and now we have to select the nodes. Suppose I select the first node and select the second node. So number of nodes between them I want two and then again bias option and click create. So two nodes are created and the distance between them is increasing by one unit. Select reject. Then interpolate on line. In the similar way we can interpolate the nodes on the line. For this first we will have to create some nodes. So I go to return. Okay, go to this nodes. 
go to this geometry on this line first create some nodes first node then second node and then once again go to this nodes option interpolate on line select this line node list this is the first node this is the second node and then again number of nodes and bias intensity click create so two nodes are created onto this line between these two existing nodes select reject third option is interpolate on surface so for this we need a surface reject return right now we have we have a surface but it is not showing in this window so for this i go to the option of shaded geometry and surface edges click on this and now surface is showing so i go to node interpolate on surface click on the surface and we have to select the node list node list suppose i select this first node and the second node and then click create so these two nodes are created onto the surface so when i rotate this we can see the nodes are onto the surface reject the last option in creating nodes we have is the intersect we can create nodes of intersection of lines or any vector so we have to select two lines suppose this is the first line and this is the second line if we want to deselect anything just like in this case we have select this first line and the second line but we don't want to select this second line so to deselect this just take the mouse onto this line and make a right click on this hit the right click it will deselect then select the option of lines second option and now select this line select create so a node has been created onto the intersection of these two lines so in this way we can create the nodes click return